Go again. Hi. Hi there. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> My name is Kane. Are we going again? No, it's a good Oh. So I'm really bad at these things. Okay. Sorry, go again. Hello, my name's Kane. I'm Nicola. I'm playing Adam in Scales, and yeah, it's been really good fun. So I've been acting for about five years. This is uh, the fifth feature I've done, I think, but the biggest one I've played. And yeah, it's been a really good experience, sort of being set in one location, uh, set mainly in the living room of this flat, of the pub and work in close proximity with some lovely, lovely people like this lady here. Hey, girl. Um, yeah, the character's very cool. I like Adam a lot. He's a businessman. He's down on his luck due to his own shortcomings. He's a gambler, uh, a cocaine addict, and it's been really fun to explore that. I mean, it's been really fun to sort of tease Darnell the whole shoot. Oh my gosh, that, that's been fun. Darnell I feel quite sorry for him. I do. I yeah. Do. Like he's got it, got it hard from me, and not the way he probably wants. Um, ah, I mean, he's asked me a few attention. times. He's te he he texts me a lot. And it's a bit inappropriate. Sexual tension is happening between the guys. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. Shit, this stuff. So you're literally going to have to guide me. So, what's your like acting background? <laughs> um, I've, I've, I'm a London-based actress. Like. Actress. And um First time. Yeah, I've been doing this for like twelve years. Uh, so this is my first my first uh proper role in the feature. I've done a few films but never had so much camera time, so it's, it's, it's amazing. And um Yeah, it's a it's a it's a okay. So Maria is a PR manager, she manages my boyfriend Darnell, who is a world class boxer. Um she's an also well. and an asshole. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, and she has a uh, cake for me. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> What's been great about working on scales? Um, it's it's the t really the most amazing thing has been the team. Like it's been a great team. It's, it's gone so smoothly. Um, everyone is so nice. Like um, and I was just saying earlier to Anthony, like the passion and the hunger and is palpable. And it's so good to be around people like that, especially young people who are really driven. And that's been, I feel like, one of the best, the best experiences of being in this film. Movie. Definitely. Um, also, just the fact that we've got this done, like, just knowing that you can make things, you know, so you can get the money together, you can, you can, you can find venues, you can find people, you can, you can get your, your work made and out there. And I think that's a really, really um, important thing to, to be able to do. Yeah. Do you want to what do you do? Well, I'm sleeping right now. So, uh, you know, my name's Anthony. I play Darnell. We're going to shoot a scene where we got some intruders and I get my gun and I say, I'm going to fuck you up. All that blah, 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 blah. Um, and that's that. And we, we're doing a film called Scales. Uh, I got three people right in front of me and they all like rest in because it's like it was real early so uh yeah it should be good do you enjoy it no i hate it <laughs> <laughs> no it's, it's good it's good it's real good but uh yeah i just wanna i want to get this scene done because uh yeah i'm just ready to go what's your nickname <coughs> downtown baby downtown baby y'all know what time it is y'all know what time it is. <laughs> is it hard work Easy work. Hard <laughs> work? Easy work. What? Y'all know where that's from? What's it been like working with everyone? Does everyone get on? How are you going to miss everyone? Just talk about how that's up and everything. Are you looking at me? <laughs> I think everyone gets on. I don't think everybody has an issue. I don't feel like when I come No, I wouldn't work, be like, oh, tell me how horrible this person is. I just mean <laughs> generally saying like, how nice everyone is. I think everyone's lovely, really. Hmm. Everyone seemed to kind of like form a friendship. Mm. No one's like clicky. This is really nice. Yeah. How are you finding your first film? Is it, is, is it what you expected to be? Better than I expected. Really? Mm -hmm. In what way? I know she's asking the question, <laughs> but <laughs> I think just because like the atmosphere and just literally how nice everyone is. Yeah. Like I know that's not the standard. So. Yeah. See, I knew it was gonna be hectic, but. 
I suppose it was how fast things change mm. that I learned the most from. Like one minute you can walk in, walk into the shoot and think, okay, we're going to do this, this, and this, and then within the next minute, it's like, oh no, hang on a second, we're doing this. Quickly change, like a really quick turnaround. Mm. Okay, and then the lightning shot. So, Kamal, how do you feel about scales? Well, scientists predict the end of humanity by 2050. That's alright. Oh my gosh. If I make it to 30, I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Kamal, mm -hmm. tell us a bit about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um, 29. Uh, I'm an actor and a massage therapist. Great, great combination. <laughs> Um, and shelter as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, friends with benefit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm friends with Anthony. He told me about this film. He said I've got the perfect role for you. I was like, yeah, I read the script. Oh and um yeah, no, really connected with Keith. I think we've got a lot in common. Um although there's a lot that is not in common. Not in <laughs> But no, I vibed with the character for sure. Um, so this has been a really exciting journey. Um, lots of obstacles, <coughs> lots of challenges, and lots of fun. Um, I'm really, I don't know what else to say, to be honest. You do something well. transcendental. Yeah. It? Transcendental. Yeah. Tell them about that, um, that experiment. Uh, what experiment? The oh. one about the um, after, about oh, the, the after experience. Yeah. Well, we've got time. We've got so time. it took us, so we're going to need to read that one first. Nathan, I'm the director of Scales. This is our last day of shooting. It's been a really fantastic, crazy, busy 11 days. Um, it's been a quite a long day this last day, you know, on top of it, and uh, it's been fantastic. Everyone's worked really well. It's been a fantastic team. Uh, it's pissing down the rain now. It's the last day, which is quite typical. Yeah, so it's been really well. I'm really looking forward to, to see it. Uh, it's a couple of years ago, I made a feature documentary uh, where I co directed and produced a Stephen Moss of Israel Britain, which done really well, which is fantastic. It went on to have close to 100 screenings across Europe, which is you know really incredible. We never expected it to get so big. The earlier last year, I DP'd UK18, which is directed by my friends Andrew and produced by his now wife Shona. Um, and that was really good. It's now on Amazon, so you can check it out. <laughs> Sneak it in there. Uh, things I've found as a, as a writer, and I'm sure you guys have had the same sort of experiences from sort of like a creative point of view and thinking things through sometimes the first idea is the best idea and, mm. and I think you, you get so caught up with trying to improve it and tweaking it yeah, and you yeah. think just because it was the first thing that popped into your head that that's, that can't be the one that you're going to run with ultimately you need to think of the, the next best one and, and sometimes you just sort of tweak it to the point that it's sort of unrecognisable mm. and then I think sometimes if, if an idea is coming to your head and you think that's the one to go with by all means, sort of toy around with it, but don't sort of disregard it just because you've thought of it so quickly. I mean, sometimes that's the way to go. It's right in front of you. Going on. Yeah, in honest. What? Yeah, I told me the wrong room. What is he talking about? What are you talking about? That wasn't the bathroom you pointed me to. That's what all this is about. I just sat down the hall and I'm surprised you didn't smell the trail. Keith, what is he talking about? I don't know you're scaring me. 